Hi friends, welcome to Creative DIY Purpose. Today, we're gonna take four thrift store finds and turn them into beautiful holiday decor. Project number one is this glass bird. I thrifted, I think five or six of them over the summer. And this is the third one that we'll be giving a facelift to. I just cleaned it up with some rubbing alcohol and then applied one coat of white acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. As soon as the paint was dry, I took a two-ply napkin that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna apply this on using some Mod Podge. Since the napkin is a two-ply, I'm going to take off one of the plies so that it's super thin. If you don't have a napkin, you can always use tissue paper. You can even use rice paper. And I will link a video for you at the end of this one showing you a few different transfer methods. Ones that you can create at home using a basic printer. So for this piece, I do want to create wrinkles. If you do not want to create wrinkles, I would recommend tearing it or cutting the napkin in smaller pieces, doing it one section at a time. So after I decided where I wanted the design, I'm applying a little bit of Mod Podge to the bird, and then I'll do it on top of the napkin. And again, I want to make sure that I'm creating a lot of wrinkles because I'm going to give this a little vintage look. I did take a pair of scissors and cut a little slit on both sides so that way it would wrap around a little bit easier so that the napkin wouldn't overfold and leave me with a huge bump. I'm also using a little bit of cling wrap to help push the paper on so that way it will adhere better. Then once the napkin is glued down in place, I'm applying a thick coat of Mod Podge to the entire piece. So after this is dried, I'm going to use some DIY white wax and I'd like, like to give a shout out to my friend Caitlin for purchasing this for me as a gift. It's probably one of my favorite go-to um, crafting materials. I, I love it. I've tried other brands, um, but this the DIY wax is just my favorite. Hey, let me know in the comments below if you like to use any type of colored wax or clear wax and what is your favorite brand. So after I applied a thin coat all over, making sure that I'm um, really going down in the creases to, to bring out the texture, I'm going to let that sit there for a while and then wipe it back with a clean cloth. The next step was to apply a little bit of glitter just to give it a shimmery look for the holidays. I do have a tip for you shortly on how you can apply glitter without getting it all over yourself. Be sure to mark your calendars for December 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I am so excited to join these very talented ladies. We're going to have six videos for you full of vintage decor thrift flips. You're not going to want to miss it. For project number two, we're going to repurpose a set of kids ice skates. I had these left over from my, our children's resale shop. And now is the perfect time to repurpose these. I'm applying a little bit of Mod Podge right onto the ice skates. I just tore the edges of the napkin, but if you don't like that look, you could easily just cut it out with a pair of scissors. So as soon as I get that on there kind of even, I'm gonna apply a thin coat of Mod Podge right up over the top, make sure all of the edges are laid flat. And then I'll repeat this step three more times so that each side of the skate has pretty much the same pattern. And I did decide to use the same technique that I used in the previous project. So I wanted to make sure that it did have wrinkles in it because I want to add that white wax right up over the top. And you want to make sure when you do this step that the decoupage has had a chance to dry. Otherwise, it can tear the napkin and make a, a goopy kind of mess. I did run around the outside um, bottom of the skates with some white wax and wipe that back. All right, so let's talk glitter for a minute. I am going to take some of this Mod Podge and put it on a paper plate and then sprinkle some of this glitter. I love the look of glitter, but I this is probably the first time you guys have ever seen me um, craft with it because sometimes I think the stuff is evil, especially if it gets in your eyes, your mouth, your nose. So I thought by adding it in the Mod Podge, and just applying it with a paintbrush, it was definitely a lot neater. And I did do the same process on each of the napkins as well as on the actual laces because they were kind of dingy and they had been washed. Uh, once it's had a chance to dry, you can apply as many layers of sparkly glitter glue as you want. So I picked up these larger size jingle bells at the Dollar Tree, and I want to give them an aged look. This is the best way that I have found to give a rusted look to any type of metal, and it works really well. So I took some paprika, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Um, 
and mixed it up with some of the Gorilla Glue because I find that that really adheres to the metal really well, mixed it up and just painted layers onto the Jingle Bells. These little clamps that I picked up at the Dollar Tree are awesome. I just stood them up, let the Jingle Bells dry overnight. And then over the top, I did applied some Paprika just because I thought that that had a little bit more of that textured, bumpy, vintage style look that I was going for. All right, so now it's time to add them onto the skates. These little berry picks I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. I applied the glue and glitter mixture to them just to give them a sparkly look and wrapped them around some tinsel and tied that right to the top of the ice skates. Next, I took some fresh cut greenery as well as some dried greenery and just tucked it inside. I'm definitely not any good at any type of floral or greenery arrangements, but it, it, it is what it is. And I think in the long run it worked, but the smell combination of any type of cedar, pine, and eucalyptus is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to tuck in a few little painted pine cones and this project is complete. So now on to project number three. This is a basket um, that I had done in a previous video probably about a year ago. And I, it just needed a, a different look. I wasn't happy with it. I took a clean cotton cloth and a hair dryer and tried to get off as much hot glue as I could. Any, any that was remaining, I used some fine grit sandpaper and just sanded it off. Next, I'm going to use some gesso. And this is like a primer and paint in one. I applied the gesso to the entire basket pretty thick on the outside because I want the napkin, the colors in the napkin to show, and then a lot lighter on the inside. The great thing about the gesso is it has very little odor and it dries super fast. So this napkin was not the best choice to use as far as design because of the way it was set up. Um, I did use a pair of scissors because the width of it is um, the height of the basket, which was nice. Here I'm just tearing the plies apart. And then I'll do the same thing, apply it on with some Mod Podge and then go up over the top. You do have to be careful when using a napkin and a basket because it's really easy to tear it. I much prefer to use like a rice paper or even a tissue paper to do this, but it worked. And then in some places I overlap the design going around the basket, applied a full coated Mod Podge up over the top, but you could use any sealer that you choose. And then using the glitter glue mixture, I went around the top and the bottom edges and added a coat of the white wax. So project number four is probably my favorite project today. And I think this would be a really fun project for kids to do. You can take any type of thrifted glass container and you can probably even find some in your recycling bin. Apply a pretty good coat of Mod Podge and pat the napkin on. I, same process, I did want it to have wrinkles. If you don't want it to have wrinkles, just cut it in smaller sections. And that way it's easier to apply it without wrinkles. And for that small section in the back that didn't have a napkin, I just tore off a piece, tried to match up the design as best I could, and then went up over the top of it with a thin layer of Mod Podge. I did tear the edges of the napkin once it had dried. Because I wanted a cleaner look for the bottom, I used a separate napkin and then once that had dried, went around the edges and tried to rip off as close as I could to, to get a cleaner look and then used a paintbrush with Mod Podge, went around the edges just to smooth it over. Then added one thin layer of Mod Podge to seal the entire piece and then added a little sparkle with the glitter glue. You guys will have to let me know which of today's projects is your favorite and if you're going to try any of them for the holidays. Friends, before I share that video link with you, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click on the video on the left to learn how to make your own image transfers or click on the one on the right to check out some thrifted makeovers for Christmas. Have a super blessed week and I will see you soon.